So this is side chaining in Ableton on steroids because it is so powerful. So what we have here is an envelope follow -up and it will follow the volume curve of the drums. And the key thing here is it just takes all that information and you can map that to a, another instrument. In fact, any instrument in Ableton. In this case, we're going to map it to the filter frequency. And as you can see already, it starts at zero and it's going to go with that LFO up and down between zero and 100%. Let's just hear what it sounds like and we can see this being automated. <laughs> So to control that, we can reduce the law value of the LFO ramp. So let's take a listen now. And you can see here, it's going to be a shorter range than before. So in addition to that, you can map multiple values to that LFO. 